The theme was airplane. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. It may sound funny, but the challenge was nothing to laugh at. Teacher Nate Macon explains. So the challenge was to build an object that can fly from the second story um, of Skyview High School. We have a nice commons area. And it flies from the second story and drop an object from um, that device onto a target that's about five feet in diameter in the middle of the commons. Each group was given a set of supplies to build their aircraft. Then students got down to work. We wind the propeller like that, like by, just band? by spinning it, and there's three rubber bands throughout here connect to this. So when you let go, it propels. <laughs> now, if you're thinking success sounds impossible, you're not alone. I, I think I'm very worried. I, I don't think <laughs> I think very few few, uh, few people are going to succeed. We took a look for ourselves. The table marks the spot in the middle of the room. The whole point of the competition is to get the planes to pass over that and drop their payload. The kicker is they've got to do it from all the way up here. Not an easy feat, but completing the task wasn't the only way to earn points. One major component, working together. So with a group you get like multiple perspectives and different ideas and just working off of each other. Another way to get a good grade, make a parent or teacher laugh. It's good to interject a little bit of um, fun in it as well. Absolutely. I mean, if they're going to spend the whole day here and do, you know, work on a project, it should be fun. All kidding aside, this is still a competition, and as evidence behind me, a lot of these kids are serious about hitting their target and winning. Soon, it was go time. Students lined up on the second story and sent their creations flying. Kind of. Crash after crash, we were beginning to wonder if it was indeed an impossible task to complete. When one plane actually made it over the table and then managed to drop its payload. Okay, let's see it one more time in slow motion. We've highlighted the plane and you can see as it flies over the table, it actually drops the marker onto the target. Did you ever think that you were going to get both? I mean. No, I honestly did not. Sam Pritchard and his team were the only ones who managed to hit the mark. Holy cow, actually landing it. That was beautiful. Well done. But at the awards ceremony, several were singled out for their hard work. My whole point is that, that problem solving is fun. No matter what the problem is, even if the problem is, is way too difficult. For In the Know, I'm Elena Buller.